Hey guys, Pam here from Craft How, and today's DIY on demand is going to show you how to use your Silhouette Studio to create a mock-up of your product for sale. So you can use it to make an ad, or you can send this picture to a customer for pre-approval on your work. As an added bonus, this technique can also be used to turn your company logo into a watermark for your pictures. Okay, so we're going to get started by having a picture of our product. This is a stemless wine glass photo that I took the other day. And I made a square using the square tool, holding down shift to draw a perfect square. And what we're going to do is use this square as a cookie cutter for our photo. So I'm going to take the square and send my picture to the back, put my square on the front, position it the way that I want. And then again, we're going to use it like a cookie cutter and punch out that part of the picture. So I'm going to select both pieces, object, modify, crop, and now I've got a photo of this wine glass that's ready to use. All right, so we're going to start with our text. I'm going to use the word love just as an example, and I'm going to make my font something scripty. Um, just to show you guys, this is just plain text. You just saw me type it out. So the first thing you have to do is if you are going to cut this, you're going to want to weld it so that all those little tails turn into the rest of the letters. And then from here, for our demonstration purposes today, I'm going to make three copies. So hit Control C, Control V, Control V, and make three copies. Okay, so the first one would be demonstrating just doing a plain vinyl decal. And I have the screenshot of my color chart that I use with my stuff. And the reason that I did this is because I want to show my decal in the same colors that I actually offer. So I'm going to select my decal, I'm going to go into my fill color section, choose my eyedropper, and pick what color I want my decal to be. Change my line color to transparent, and then I'm going to size these decals down to where they would actually fit on the glass. And what you do is once you have it sized the way that you want, you would kind of zoom in on it. I have crosshairs, so I've got to pull those out of the way. And then I have a Windows machine. I'm going to hit print screen. I go into paint, paste it in here, line up my photo, and then just crop it in the way that you would want. And that would be a picture that you can send to your customer so that they can conceptualize how their product will look. Now, another thing you can do is if you're going to be doing glitter, it's a little hard because there's not a lot of really easy ways to show that. Well, all you have to do is take that same word that you're going to be cutting and find a sample that matches the glitter that you're going to be using. Put your word on top, and just like we did with the glass, you highlight both pieces, object, modify, crop, and it cookie cutters out that glitter. Same thing layer it on top the way it would be, zoom in, and then you'll be able to see what your final product will look like. Now, the last thing is glass etching, sandblasting, or to do a watermark on your photo. You can actually use a very similar technique. So we're going to take this one here and bring up our paint palette. We're going to fill this one with a really light gray. And I like my lines to be a little darker when I'm doing an etching, so I'll just do a shade or two darker. Now the trick to this one, and when you're doing a watermark over your photo in Silhouette Studio, it all comes down to the transparency. So I'm going to zoom in here, and you see on my palette bar I have transparency. So I'm going to bump that up until it looks like it might have been etched on the glass. And if your lines look too dark, you can always go in and change those a little bit too. So that would be a pretty accurate representation of how it would look if it were on the glass. And basically, you can use this to do your watermark as well. So that's all there is to it, guys. Very super easy to do. And if you have any questions, same as always, just find me on Facebook. You can reach me at facebook.com slash craft how. And my studio is not cooperating. There we go. Facebook.com slash crafthow. I'm also at crafthow.blogspot.com and you can find me in about half a dozen silhouette groups and I'm always happy to answer any questions that you may have. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon. Have a great day.